Today, we're diving into something that could literally change your life. Five work from home jobs that don't require a resume or interview. Now, before we get into it, let me tell you something. I've been exactly where you are right now or even worse. Broke, desperate, and looking for a way out. Hell, I've even been homeless, sleeping in a car, and wondering where my next meal was coming from. But I'm telling you, the internet has opened up opportunities that we couldn't even dream of just a few years ago. I went from being that broke kid to making six figures as a pharmacist and then making over 300K per month from YouTube. And you know what? The jobs I'm about to show you could be your first step on a similar journey. Now, I know what you're thinking. Shame, this sounds too good to be true. But trust me, these are real opportunities. They might not make you rich overnight, but they can be the start that you need. They can give you that first taste of making money online, and that can lead to much better things down the road. So are you ready to change your life? Are you ready to take control of your future? Let's go ahead and dive in. Can't wait. But first, if you're new here, make sure to gently tap that like button and it's time to go where the opportunity is. Now, first, let's go over a very common online way of making money. And this is one where there's honestly not a lot of opportunity unless you do it in the exact right way. And this is online survey taking. So this is one you've probably heard about many, many times before. There's so many channels out there that tell you to take online surveys. Now, the upside to this is it's probably the easiest way of making money online, and it's incredibly easy to get started. Now, the downside to this is usually most of the online survey websites suck for one. Some of them are actually just straight up scams. And even the ones that aren't scams, you're not gonna make very much money typically. And basically what you're gonna do is answer questions about products, services, or general topics. And of course, the reason you can make money from this is because because companies use this information for market research. And in today's data-driven world, companies are hungry for consumer insights, and they are willing to pay for your opinions that help to shape their products and marketing strategies. So you can think of this almost like being a taste tester, but instead of food, you're sampling ideas and giving your thoughts on them. Now, a secret to finding the best survey websites to use is to go to a subreddit called r slash beer money. And on this subreddit, they basically tell you which ones are worth your time and which ones are a waste of time. Now, really, Realistically, taking surveys is not going to make you rich. The best you could hope for is consistently being able to make a few dollars an hour. But the upside to taking surveys is there is an incredibly low barrier to entry. You can literally make money from this just by being a US citizen and being able to speak English. And while it can't replace a full-time income, it can be a good source of extra funds whenever you're in a pinch. And also this could lead into a better career path such as becoming a product tester because this would look really good on your resume and it would allow you to build a better portfolio too. So the pros of this job are it's easy to start, there's no experience needed, and it can be done while multitasking. The cons are low pay, can be very repetitive, and it's not really a stable income source. So overall, I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10 opportunity score. And that's if you use the right ones. So the potential is very limited, but it's a great way to dip your toes into making money online, and it can be a stepping stone to much better opportunities. Now let's move on to something with a little bit more potential. But before we move on, go ahead and comment down below your thoughts on getting paid to do surveys. Have you done that before? Have you made money with it? And what was your experience like? Next is going to be a social media content moderator. And if you've ever spent hours scrolling through social media, which most of us have, let's be honest, what if I told you that you could get paid to do it? Well, our next job is one that's becoming increasingly important in the digital age, which is social media content moderation. And as a social media content moderator, you'll be responsible for reviewing user generated content on social media platforms. And you'll be making sure that it meets community guidelines and doesn't violate violate any rules. And with the explosion of social media usage, platforms are under increasing pressure to keep their spaces safe and compliant. And that's where content moderators come in, acting as guardians of online communities. So you can almost think of yourself as a digital bouncer. You're not there to stop the party, but you are there to make sure that everyone's following the rules and having a good time. So as a content moderator, you can make pretty decent money. Here's what Glassdoor lists for the average salary. And the way you'd get into this is by simply just being familiar with the platform that you're using and also being familiar with the community that you're moderating and then just applying for jobs. And there's also more than just content moderation. There's also forum moderation and even platform moderation. And there's lots of other jobs that are similar to this that basically have a similar skill set, such as online community managers. Now, one thing I will say is this job can expose you to potentially disturbing content. So it's important to have good emotional resilience. Now, some pros of the job are constantly being able to learn about social media trends, the opportunity to make the internet a safer place, and it can lead to higher positions in trust and 
and safety. Now, some cons of the job are it may involve exposure to disturbing content, it can be emotionally taxing, and it does require thick skin to deal with user complaints. But the overall opportunity score, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. Why? Well, the need for content moderation is growing exponentially as social media usage increases, and it's a job that's incredibly difficult to fully moderate, which means there's going to be ongoing demand for human moderators. And while it can be challenging, it does offer good pay and the potential for career growth in the tech industry. Now, if you do want to work in social media, but you don't want to be a moderator, you could also work in digital marketing. And digital marketing is one of the easiest careers to get into that can be incredibly fruitful. And there's actually an entire free training, which you can check out down in the description and the pinned comment below that will tell you exactly how you can get into digital marketing as well. Quick break. So I know you guys want to know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote and you also want to know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you want to work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the pinned comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be a virtual assistant. And there's many different ways that you could be a virtual assistant. And there's also many different types of virtual assistants too. But what if I told you that you could make money doing the same things you're probably already doing for free, like managing social media or scheduling appointments. You probably manage your own social media. You also check out other people's social medias and you've probably scheduled appointments before. Little things like that that have to be done manually are the things that virtual assistants help people with. And that's why this is one of those jobs that's incredibly valuable. Now, some other job titles that are very similar to this job would be online personal assistance. And you can also do this job full-time, part-time, or even as a freelancer. And you're basically typically going to be helping businesses, entrepreneurs, or higher level people like managers or executives with various tasks such as email management, scheduling, or social media posting. And you're going to be doing it all from the comfort of your home. And in the digital age, more and more businesses are operating online and they need help, but they don't always need or can't afford full-time in office staff. And that's where you come in. So you can think of yourself as the Swiss army knife of the digital world. You're not just one tool, but many ready to tackle whatever task comes your way. And the first employee I ever hired was in fact a virtual assistant. And you can actually work your way up to being an executive assistant as well. Coursera actually does have a course on how to become a virtual assistant that you could check out. And of course, to make your first money, you could go on Fiverr or Upwork. And then of course, you could also just get hired on a website like Glassdoor. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I like it. Um, it's a good way to get your foot in the door and get started working remote. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be transcriptionist. So if you ever thought you could make money just by listening and typing, well, you're about to find out how. The next job on the list is one that's perfect for those of you with a good ear and fast fingers. So as a transcriptionist, you'll listen to audio files and type out what you hear, converting spoken words into written text. And in a world where content is king, there's a growing need for written versions of audio and video content. And this is where transcriptionists come in, making content accessible and searchable. And this is especially good if you can convert audio or video content into a different language. But it's also pretty monotonous and people usually don't do this for a very long period of time. Here's how much you'd make according to Glassdoor on average. And a pro tip here would be to specialize in a particular type of transcription, for instance, legal transcription or medical transcription. So yeah, this one's pretty good. It's not a bad place to get started. I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an online tutor. So what if I told you that you could make money just by having a conversation? No, I'm not talking about being a therapist. I'm talking about becoming an online tutor for a conversation practice. Now you might be thinking, Shane, I'm not a teacher, but here's the thing. If you can talk, you can do this. It's that simple. As an online tutor for conversation practice, your job is to chat with people who are learning your native language. You're not teaching grammar or vocabulary. You're just having a conversation. And in our increasingly globalized world, speaking English fluently is a highly sought after skill. But here's the kicker. Many language learners struggle to find native English speakers to practice with. And that's where you come in. You're providing a safe, judgment-free zone for them to practice and improve. So you can think of yourself as a personal trainer, but just for language. You're not teaching them the rules of the game. You're giving them a chance to get on the field and play. Now, when it comes to the money, you can make pretty good money either part-time or full-time. And this is what Glassdoor says people make on average. So this one is honestly a really good one to get into. A lot of people actually travel to other parts of the world where they have lower cost of living and they do this. So yeah, I really like this one. I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Speaking
speaking of teaching people online, I actually have a free YouTube crash course, which you can check out. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. that will teach you some of the most important things that you need to get started with a successful YouTube channel that actually makes money. And by the way, if you haven't seen it already, one of my best and most popular videos is six work from home jobs that don't require a resume or an interview. And that video blew up. People absolutely loved it. And you can check it out by clicking right here.